Kisi, Kenya, East Africa. According to many leading environmentalists, the world's poorest people should not aspire to the lifestyle of people in the first world. The planet will not cope. Grace Nyekananda is one of the many Africans who do not have electricity or gas to cook with or heat their homes. The resulting indoor smoke from burning wood and dried dung is the deadliest form of pollution in the world. For millions, the cause of lung disease, blindness and early death. It's not just cheap, reliable electricity that Africa needs. Agricultural productivity here is incredibly low. Increasing it takes fossil fuels to make fertilizer and drive tractors and other farm machinery. Jasper Mashogu is a farmer. Each and every African wants to develop and increasing, improving agriculture is one of the easiest ways to do that. Agriculture is tightly tied to fossil fuels. Fossil fuels that the Western nations are saying we should not have access to. Around a third of the food produced in Africa rots before it ever reaches the mouths of consumers. To prevent this terrible waste, Africa needs plastic packaging, refrigerated lorries and good roads. All are opposed by Western environmentalists. All come with industrial development. All rely on affordable fossil fuel energy. Diarrhea from drinking dirty water still kills hundreds of thousands of African children. But clean water requires large industrial water purification plants and a modern water supply network. And this will come only with cheap energy. I think it's pretty obvious that the West has got what it has because of fossil fuels. When people say Africa doesn't need fossil fuels, I wonder. I don't think they want what's best for us. They don't want us to develop, and that means we continue being starving. We continue being uh, poor. Most people don't know what climate change is. They don't care. They just they want food on their table. They want to beat poverty. They want to beat hunger. They need money to better their lives. They want to flourish. That's just it. When they use the word sustainable development, they're talking about no development. Exactly. I mean, it's the point is, is that you know, to develop sustainably means not to use too much energy, not to use too much carbon, you know, net zero, the idea that you mustn't use too many resources, the fact you mustn't produce enough consumer goods because consumption is bad. So ultimately, you know, the idea of development is out the window. The Greens think the Africans should never use their resources the way the Europeans or the Americans or the Canadians or the Australians have used theirs. They are also in favor of punitive taxes, border taxes on any African country that wants to export their goods to Europe if they do use their resources. So that sums up the ethical ruthlessness and, and depravity of the green agenda. But climate alarmists have a problem. Many countries in Africa and across Asia are simply ignoring the environmentalist demands of Western governments and international agencies. 